today I just want to do a quick overview and review of a new piece of gear that I have uh, acquired in the studio and at live shows, which is the TC Electronic Polytune Clip. Um, it's a teeny little tuner, vibration tuner. You just put it on the headstock and it's got various different functionalities that I really like. It's a really handy, complete little tuner, so I just thought I would go over the basics with you today. So the box is really simple. It's kind of neat. It just pushes out from one side and then the tuner is in there with the instructions. And then the tuner itself, it's a nice white, like sleek design with a big black screen and uh, a rubber, basically a rubber clip. And it's pretty strong, the clip, so that's really good. It's got a big display. It's really easy to see the uh, notes of the guitar. The power button is on the top and then there's two buttons down the side which control the different functionalities of the tuner. So let's get into what the tuner actually does. The tuner clips onto the headstock of the guitar and it has three different functionalities. And you guys are going to notice some of the similarities between the Polytune uh, pedal, which I also have actually, um, the foot pedal and the clip. So the first big thing to note is that it has the polyphonic tuning. So when you strum all the strings, you can see all the strings simultaneously and if they're all green, then that means they're in tune and anywhere that is red above or below is that it's either sharp or flat. So you can go into that string and just tune it up. The second functionality of tuning it has is chromatic. So just pick one string and it will show you the note and whether it's in tune. I feel like that's how most people tune their guitars. Um, and it has that and also the tuner knows automatically whether you are strumming all the strings at once to give you the polyphonic or whether you're just strumming one and it'll show you chromatic so that's kind of handy. The polytune clip is super responsive. It has a really quick response time when you pluck the string. It doesn't take forever to think about whether a string is in tune or not. So I like that a lot. The last functionality is called strobe and it is millimetric tuning. So if you want a really, really, really accurate, even more accurate than the polyphonic or the chromatic, then you can switch to strobe and that is gonna be absolute fine tuning. One of the other cool functionalities that I really like to use because I sometimes in the studio just don't want to transpose in my head. A lot of times I have to play with where my vocal feels good and, and sings nicely on a song. So I'll throw a capo on there and see. And one of the awesome features of this is that you can just click through and it will set the tone of where the capo is, if that makes any sense. So for example, if you have your capo on the first fret and you're in bass tuning or standard tuning of E, then that's going to be an F right? Um, your E is now an F and the tuner you can tell it to tune with the capo on number one so an F and it'll show you the the letter F on the screen and say number one next to it and then if you keep pressing through it'll be F sharp number two and then it'll be G number three and so it's like wherever you put the capo you can set the tuner to tune at that exact uh, tone. For me that functionality is really helpful because I don't have to do much mental work. I just, in the studio you just want to get a song out or you just want to learn it and you need it to be fast and quick. A couple of other little things, you know, the batteries here at the back, it's really easy to change out. The tuner powers down by itself after three minutes if you haven't touched it or used it. It knows to flip the screen if you prefer to use the tuner on the back of the headstock instead of the front it knows that so it'll just flip the screen automatically it'll always be upright generally I've been really happy with the polytune clip I've kind of I have a penchant for losing little pieces of gear like this so I've been keeping it really safe see what happens when I go out on tour with it but hopefully I'll be able to keep it in my possession it's taken a while for the vibration tuner technology to get to a point where it's really reliable and dependent but I would definitely recommend uh, this tuner if you're looking for something that's just gonna be a really dependable friend on the road. So yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Click my face to subscribe to my channel or click the button over there. Leave a comment in it below if you want to see me review anything else, if there's anything else you want to know about uh, music geeky stuff. Catch up with some more of my videos. Don't forget my new EP, The Way to the Soul, is coming out finally on December 4th. It's a folk pop EP. I'm really excited to um, to show you guys. The pre-order is 
on iTunes and Google Play. So go grab a copy and you'll be able to get Say It To Me um, in advance as a giveaway track. All my music is out on iTunes. If you guys like these videos that I make for you, please consider making um, a donation on patreon.com slash free. I will be putting out a video that shows how we put up all the acoustic treatment here in this studio, in our studio here in LA. I'm really excited that Vacoustic partnered with us on, on the project so I'm going to be putting out a, a video showing all that when it's done. And um, yeah. Okay, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye! Over, maybe I am the poison cat.